Good morning, I'm Miss Arkwright and we are at Jacob L. Adams Elementary School in a fifth grade class and we are reviewing the layers of the earth. All right guys, what I'd like you to do is turn and talk to the people near you and just tell me if we can remember which layer is in the middle of the earth. In the middle of the earth, Zarya? The inner core, very good. Who can tell me which one would come next? Malay? Outer core? Amari, which would be the, this one in yellow? Mantle. The mantle, very good. And the last one, the part that we live on, Zion? The crust. The crust, very good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about what we know about the different parts of the earth, the different layers. So not just about what they're called, but what makes them special, okay? So the inner core, turn and talk to a partner. What's a fact you remember about the inner core? Look what I mean. It is hot. There it is. It's so I hear some good ones. All right, who can raise their hand and tell me what's one fact you remember about the inner core? Good job. Ernesto? Sorry. It's really, in the inner core, it's really hot. It's very, very hot. Good. And it's kind of like a marble. It looks kind of, we think of it like a marble because it's made of what? Who remembers what it's made of? Lorelia? It's made of iron, but it's actually in nickel. Iron and nickel. And is it solid or liquid, Chance? It's solid. It's solid. The middle is solid. Very good. Okay. You guys got them all. All right, try the outer core. Turn and talk. The outer core. How is that different than the inner core? The outer core is the, um, is the, um, the, like, sort of hot, but not that hot compared to the inner core. So it's, like, it's hot. It's good enough to melt. It's still, yep, it's made of the same things. But remember, instead of being a solid ball, it's kind of liquidy, okay? All right, tell me one thing about the outer core. It's like a pudding texture. Okay. It's not solid. It's liquid. It's liquid. It's made of nickel iron. Very good. And it also is what causes gravity on Earth. Okay, because it's moving, that's what makes us stay down on Earth. All right? Okay, what about the mantle? Turn and talk with a partner first so we all make sure we all know. And it's lava, it's below the crust. Yes. Um, Hold on one second. You ready to share? Okay. Under the crust. All right, guys, about one, 30 more seconds. Let's see. Christian. It's made out of lava, okay, or magma, chance. Okay. Rocky. It's rocky. Blake? It's the, layer. it's the thickest layer. Very good. Anyone else? Okay, it's under the crust. It's made of magma, which when that erupts from a volcano, we call it lava. Okay, and it's the thickest layer. Very good. All right, last one, the crust. What do you know about the crust? It's the thinnest layer. It's the thinnest layer? Okay. What is it made out of? What were we just talking about? It's it's a bunch of what? Dirt. What is that called? They crash into each other or they come apart? What, babe? They could crash into each other and cause an earthquake, right? Remember, we call them plates. So it's made up of lots of plates, okay? But you're right, it's a lot of dirt, okay? What'd you say, baby? It supports life. It's the only layer that has life. Very good, Javen. Okay, who wants to share? Um, Lorelia. We live on it, okay? Tamir? It supports life. It's the only layer that supports life. Very good. Is your hand up? Yes. Blake? Okay. Very good. Oxygen, good. Malay? Thinnest layer? Chance? Okay, 
How about, um, sorry, that's hard to see, okay? What's it made out of? Remember, it's made of plates. That's what we were talking about on Thursday. The plates, how they can, um, that would cause an earthquake, okay? If they run into each other, very good. All right? All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do for today is um, Ms. Harris is gonna pass out a sheet that just looks just like this. So here are the directions. Let me move that. And this is what you're gonna do with your partner or your group. You have a task. Your task is to create a model of the layers of the earth. That model can be 3D or that model can be flat. That's up to you, okay? For your plan, that's when you're telling me what materials you need. We have a lot of materials in the back. If there's something you need that I don't have, we will try to find it, but I can just give you general. We have paper, we have paper plates, pipe cleaners, yarn, feathers, pom-poms, aluminum foil, sticks, and straws, okay? Like the popsicle sticks we use for our boats. Um, so this is a plan. You're just listing the materials here. And then for Imagine, you're drawing a sketch, okay? For Imagine, you're drawing a sketch. That's what you and your partner are doing, okay? So when I tell you, you're gonna make sure that you move to your partner, and I'm gonna tell you where to go, okay? You and your partner need to do this, or your group, needs to do your materials, your plan, before we can actually try it out and make it. I need a plan first, okay? And it's a, just a quick sketch. It doesn't need to be colored. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just your ideas, okay? If you could just a little ball for the inner core. Use some what? The like the pom-poms? Absolutely, for the inner core. Good. Okay, so maybe start in and go out. So if we know what we want the inner core to be, what do you want the outer core to be? And also think, do you guys want it 3D, or are you going to glue it down on something? What materials do you think you're going to use? Think about the layers of the earth. And you can kind of glance. You guys got a little benefit because you can see everything back there. What's something you think? What did you say? So that's what you guys want to add on your list. And do not worry about spelling. Go ahead and write pipe, pipe cleaners from first thing in your plan. And after that, we have pom pom glue. Want to try it? I think you want to try it. I know what to do. All we need is a bunch of them and like look. So then we're going to, we're going to like, so we're going to like build a plate and then we're going to put the obstacles to come across, right? Yeah, like that. No, there's one egg. It's P-F-L-A-T. Yeah, that's what I mean. For your imagine, you need to really think about where you're going to start. So maybe either start on the outside with the crust or start on the inside with the inner core. What do you want each piece to be? You want to start on the inner core? Okay, so what's the inner core going to be? It's going to be like a yellow, a big pom-pom. A big pom-pom, okay. So now think the outer core. What's that going to be made out of? What could it be made out of? We'll also think, are you going to glue it down? Because that gives you more kind of options if you're going to glue it down on a piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. All right, girls, you told me two plates. So here, use these to hold all the stuff you need. You guys can grab what you need. Go ahead. What y'all need? Foil? Is this what you were getting the scissors for? How much do you guys want? This is good? Okay. So we got the inner core. What are you working on? What kind of? The crust. Okay, so... Someone can work on the outer core and someone can work on the mantle. So think about, look at your plans. What are you using for those? And who can work on that? Like the circle out. But that looks like the sun. It does look like the sun. And then you could have put the this part of the outer core. Y'all need to start getting your stuff ready to do the next layer. Okay? Leave one yellow for what? The um, inner core. Okay, so that's the inner core. So start getting what's going to be the mantle and what's the outer core. What are you using for the outer core? And you're going to leave it in these shapes or you're going to have to cut it? Then cut it. So y'all should start cutting. Okay? 
stuff he is. Uh, you quit the glue too much. We should never made our but the green is the thinnest layer, so we don't need a big one. We should put these two together. Yeah. We should put these two together. So why did you pick a little bit of foil for the inner core? Because it said it was hard, and we balled a little bit It's hard. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for joining Ms. Arkwright's class. We hope you learned a lot more about the layers of the earth. Adam's here!